Chef Buck here, and today we're talking about onions. That's all right. The different kinds of onions, the different kinds of things you can do with them, and what the difference is between the onions. Because I get literally thousands of messages every day from people all over the globe saying, Chef Buck, please help me. I don't know the difference between onions. So we're going to explain it real quick. Boom. These are green onions. This is a very popular onion. I buy this a lot. Use it quite often. You know, everybody knows what a green onion is. It looks different from all of these, right? If you don't know what a green onion is, then just ask the person who helped you put your shoes on today, right? Now we're going to move to the guts, to the main part of this onion video, which is these bulb onions right here. Now I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and arrange these in popularity uh, for me, personally. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is how I use the onions, right? And, you know, it's almost by price, too. Because like this here is the cheapest, most popular onion in the world, right? More often than not, you're going to be using this onion if you order a dish in a restaurant. More often than not, it's going to be this onion here. Because it's cheap and you can use it just like any other kind of onion. You can eat any of these onions raw. And you can cook any of these onions. But some of them are better, uh, have better uses than the others. Like this one right here, excellent onion for cooking. And it's the cheapest one. And you can't eat it raw, but you might tear up a little while you're, uh, while you're slicing it. You know, it can have a strong flavor. Now, the best one for raw preparations, boom, is the red onion. Why is that? Because it has a milder flavor. You know, it doesn't have as much sulfur in it. It doesn't have as much sugar in it. You know, you can slice it thick and grill it. And you can saute it a little bit. But, you know, it doesn't do great. You know, if, if it requires a lot of cooking, this is the worst onion to use. If you're going to caramelize an onion, you don't want this one right here. You know, because it doesn't have enough sugar in it and it won't brown up and get that nice caramelization you're looking for. For that, you want to use this, the yellow or brown onion as it's called. Now, this here is a sweet onion. You know, this here is good raw. You know, if you want to have a slice of this on your hamburger, uh, you can do that. And this is a really good onion for caramelizing too. Not as good as this one. But almost, you know, if this is on sale, boom, I will get this one. But more often than not, this is going to be the way to go. This one right here is a white onion. Now, a lot of people like this raw. You know, they use it in uh, salsas. This is especially popular in Mexican restaurants. This is Camera Girl's favorite onion. You know, she says it has more of an oniony bite. You know, a little more zest and pizzazz. But I never buy this onion, hardly. Once in a blue moon. Now, this one here... This is, I don't know, would people call it the, the king of onions? You know, I don't know. This is like a fancy pan. This is a shallot. It's used in fancy pants recipes, but look how dinky that is. And this is uh, $3.99 a pound. I think I paid for this. Boom, 99 cents a pound, $3.99 a pound. Yellow onion, shallot. Hmm, I say f the shallot, right? Almost broke the lamp, but that's okay. Because I can afford it because of all the money I saved on this yellow onion right here. And nutritionally, there isn't a lot of difference between these onions right here. Nutritionally, if you're trying to get the most impact from these onions, you want to use the onion, the layers closest to the outside. So the more you cut away from these onions, the deeper you get into the onion, the less nutrition, nutritional benefits you're going to find. You know, but they say, you know, these things fight cancer, blah, blah, blah. They're pretty healthy. There's nothing really wrong with them. There's nothing bad that's going to happen to you from eating a lot of onion. You know, red onion supposedly has the best nutrition. I'm not a scientist. But, you know, usually vegetables, you know, that have a stronger color, a more vibrant color, are going to have the most nutrition. Now I'm going to show you a handy-dandy trick, you know, for slicing your onion. You know how you tear up? You know, nobody wants to be crying over their onion. So this here, it's patent pending. I have a utility patent. I'm going to try to get a shark tank with this here. But this is my handy dandy onion slicer system. And you want to use a tall bag, you know, to go with your chef hat. And the reason chef hats are so tall is because they're hollow inside, right? You know, because they store oxygen. So you'll have extra oxygen in there. So you'll have plenty of oxygen while you're slicing your onion. But you want to go ahead, but well, you got to take your glasses off, duh, obviously. Nobody wants to put a plastic bag on the head with your glasses on, but this will fit easily over your chef hat. But the thing is, you don't want to slice it and you don't have to have the onion fumes coming up under your bag. So you want to make sure 
And I do not have a patent on this uh, bandana system. But I gotta talk to my lawyer about that. You wanna make sure and go ahead and tie it tightly around your neck. That way it will prevent, you know, the onion juices from splattering around your eye, the fumes from getting up under here and causing you to tear up. You want to make sure you use an exceptionally large and sharp knife. And you don't want to fool around because this is a plastic bag. So you want to do it quickly. With some sense of urgency. You just deal with the camera. I'm the professional, <laughs> a hugging cutter chef. And you might, and you're starting to fog up a little bit. So you want to get close in on your onion and just carefully slice it like that. Boom! And look at like that. You know, like normally, I would automatically be uh, crying and tearing up a little bit, but I can even hold this right next to my eye. And I'm fine and there's no problem. Now I can cut this onion all day and never ever tear up. You know, that's the, the beauty of this system here. It's totally foolproof. Look, I can rub this on my face, you know, and I'm totally protected by this here. So I can literally do this. I could do like two or three or four onions and I would never, you know, it'd be like watching uh, Tom and Jerry. I can almost laugh. This is almost funny. This is not sad. A butt. Uh, Cutting an onion. It's hard to see the uh, onion nose. A butt. It's flawed. I, I, I think something's huh? wrong with your system. There's nothing wrong with this system. Give it a knife. I, I, I don't think you I'm need... I'm filming right here. Let's do this here. Um. Come on. I'm not having a... Can you see this? I don't think we've quite gotten through the proof of concept stage. That's the onion. But you can cut onions like this all day and you won't tear up at all. Give it. Buck?